Okay then guys, we're going to crack on with some of the biological molecules. So this is in the specification, unit 3.1, the biological molecules. So there are four major categories of the biological molecules, but before we talk about those, we need to get some definitions and some key terms nice and clear before we can talk about them. These key terms are exactly the ones you need to use in the exam to get the mark. So we've got polymers. A poly from many, a polygon, is a long molecule made up from lots of or many smaller molecules. Okay, so you can easily draw that in a diagram. Green, I'm going to use my diagrams, remember, dot, 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 so the molecule continues. It's a long one, so we're not going to draw it all. And it's going to be like a train, lots and lots of carriages forming a train dot 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 carries on. So that's our polymer. Mer means unit basically or one. So lots of units means polymer. Okay, so what are polymers made of? Well, they're made of monomers as in monocle, mono meaning one. So these are small molecules that are the building blocks of polymers. So let's put some examples down to these guys. They are going to be categorized for each of the different biological molecules that we're going to talk about. So what are those biological molecules? See if you can remember them to yourself. First of all, I'm going to put down carbohydrates. I'm going to put number two. The order is not important at this point. Proteins. Number three, I'm going to put fats or lipids. If we're talking about lipids, we're also talking about fats. So they are one and the same. And number four, we're going to talk about nucleic acids. So these are the only four categories that you need to know about. Now, we're obviously going to be, they're going to have their monomers and they're going to have their polymers. Okay, so let's see if we can name some of these uh, monomers or polymers here. Well, carbohydrates, we've got, generically speaking, we can call them monosaccharides, double C, monosaccharides. And an example of that would be glucose, the most common. And obviously for the polymer, we can call it a polysaccharide. So if you see saccharide anywhere, you know it's a sugar or a carbohydrate. All sugars are also carbohydrates. So a little bit confusing in that they're all meaning the same thing, but as long as you can recognize them, you know how to answer the questions. Now, second of all, the monomers of proteins are amino acids. We're going to talk a lot about those when we go into a lot of detail, so you'll be very familiar with those. You don't need to know any specific uh, polymers. There's going to be proteins, essentially, is what we're going to call them for now. And obviously, it's the same as proteins. We could call them a, uh, a polypeptide is another word for a protein. Polypeptide. Just squeezing it in there. Right, okay, so fats. What are we going to do for fats? Well, the the monomer that we're going to use there is a triglyceride. And I'm going to leave this on blank. We don't really know. I mean, phospholipids, which are very similar to triglycerides, as you'll see fairly soon, are going to form plasma membranes. But I don't want to confuse things because that's not technically made from a, a fat directly. And nucleic acids. Well, the monomer are, they begin with N, similar nucleotides. And the examples of the polymers, of course, are DNA or RNA. So that's the basic introduction to all of the biological molecules and a bit of an overview. I'm going to do a comprehensive review of all the bonds and all the molecules you need to about in the biological molecules section at the end, once you've actually learned in detail the carbohydrates, the proteins, the fats, and the nucleic acids on their own.